All right, so here's my step-by-step -step instructions for the battery box cables. You can go over to Home Depot or Lowe's and get yourself a 16 inch long, three eight inch diameter stainless steel braided hose. And what you're gonna do is that you're gonna um, wrap one end with electrical tape to keep it from fraying and you're gonna cut that right off. The other end you can just cut off without the electrical tape being in place because you're gonna be dealing with that at a later step. So what you're gonna do after that step is that you're gonna to start to fray the braid on one end without the electrical tape, and you're gonna start pushing the braid off of this PVC reinforced tube. Now this is what is making everything so stiff is this PVC reinforced tube is not great for our battery box cables. So once you get the tube off, what you're gonna do while you're at Home Depot or Lowe's, go around the corner and pick yourself up a 3 8 inch diameter vinyl tube and what you can do then is slip that through the braid it's going to take a little while until one end pokes out and then you'll be able to wrap the braid with some electrical tape and then cut that off and then you'll be able to put your ends um, that have been 3d printed and you can pot those with an epoxy or ca glue now, I started using CA glue and I decided, uh, yeah, I'm not going to do that because I'm worried about the off-gassing affecting the color of the braid before I apply my uh, rub and buff. Uh, so I ended up potting these with epoxy.